Oh my god, there's a pego on my face! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what? Yes, what happened to my spino? Ooh, what the, what the, what the, what the? Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved, checking out the new TLC patch, which just updated like half an hour ago. Gonna take a look at every new creature in it and all aspects and changes that has been implemented. I do apologize for not having face cam right now. It's because it makes these videos take like an hour longer. And I was about to just start streaming Sea of Thieves for like five hours straight. So I want to continue to do that. So today's episode is not gonna have face cam, but it's cool. Because you're about to see like five hours of my face right after this, and you're all gonna be so sick of it by the end. Alright, so here we have the Argentave. It's possibly one of the most anticipated creatures in this. Look at this right here, just as it's flying. That Nectal puff back and that little bit of just furry, whatever the hell pigeons and seagulls all have whenever- Actually, mostly pigeons is what I'm basing this off of. I live in LA. Our, nas our national bird is pigeons. <laughs> Alright, so real quick before getting into this, I'm going to show you the trailer for the new TLC patch. It's about a minute long, and it's just beautiful. The people over at Ark did a great job with it. It shows the full beauty of... I'm just going to stop saying beauty and show it. So for starters, the Argentavis right here. The Argentavis has received numerous updates. God damn, look at all those updates, holy crap. Model update, animation update, texture update, new abilities, can carry two creatures, C grabs, releases creatures with its beak, right click with its claws, health regen buff from consuming corpses, and saddle axe as a mobile crafting station. Possibly not this one, possibly the next one. <laughs> all right, so what kind of creatures are we able to, I know we're able to pick up like man and such, Humans and whatnot, but let's just test the limits really quick of this beak. I'm just assuming a galley's too big. Oh, no, I'm out of stamina. Beautiful timing. Oh my god, there's a pego on my face. <laughs> Ooh, what? What is happening here, ladies? I went to pick this thing up with my mouth, and it's not in my, it's just wrapped around my face. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Look at these things just flying out here with a few of them. That is too damn funny. Oh my god, it looks so cool when you pick a peg over your mouth because it just wraps it. It doesn't even look like you're picking them up in a hostile fashion whatsoever. That is just a little dude securely holding on to your face. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. That is adorable. So yes, you are able to pick up you're able to pick up small creatures with your beak and of course large creatures with your talons. Just amazing you're finally able to use your beak because this is how you see I don't know. We have, we also have a lot of hawks and eagles out here, and you constantly see rabbits being carried away by them. Except those are always in the talons. That was phenomenal. I love that. Look at this little guy, a little shoulder buddy. Oh my god. Alright, calm down, buddy. See, the raptor's trying to pounce on us. Ooh, a little sneak peek at the next most exciting thing. Actually, next you might look at the parasaur. Just because it's next on the list, and all creatures are beautiful and epic now. Alright, next we have this bastard. I never really use these guys anymore, so this is actually awesome. Well, that's like the main point of this whole TLC, is giving you new meaning and new use out of creatures you rarely use anymore. It's, it's definitely better than just adding new creatures. I'm way more of a fan of the TLC patch tactic. Alright, so receives a sound tweak. 
It has an alarm mode, can be put in turn mode and check for nearby threats, notifies you audibly when visuals are, and visually when threats are present, scares small creatures, see when ridden scares away small mid creatures. Hey, let's go back to that turret mode. So you're essentially like having the Iron Man suit is what's going on here. Toggle for alarm mode, have it automatically do it. Scan, can, can do a trigger scan. Ooh, what the hell? What the hell is that? You're notifying me of a scary thing, aren't you, buddy? That is such a trip. Oh my god, these guys have like, this is an alarm. This is, this is crazy. Change to auto fright and turret mode. Are we being attacked or is that thing over there being attacked? Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright, so we've enabled turret mode. Look, it's notifying us that there's trouble in the vicinity. Oh my god, that's so awesome. What a good traveler pet now. Just a nice little start out creature. Because you essentially need to just avoid predators in every way, shape, and form. Look, it's just notifying us where they are. Look at you, buddy. Freaking Mark 51. Mark, Mark, what, what, what the hell is Iron Man? Out? Bleeding, bleeding edge tech armor right here. Dude, that is, that's beautiful. It's just nice because they're small. What a good, what a good tactic, buddy. Oh, man, I just realized I, I could be like butt naked. I could be picking my nose. I could do anything over here. I, I don't know. No face cam, no rules, baby. All right, don't get too, don't get too, well, that's, that's freaking awesome. Obviously not the coolest part of the TLC patch, but definitely something that's going to come in handy, saving all of our survivor lives. Oh my God, what the hell is happening there? <laughs> have we made it? Have we bonded, buddy? I think that was what's going on. Hey, let's go ahead and get a raptor saddle. Now the raptor is arguably one of the coolest updates to this right here. The raptor or the Argentaeus? It seems to be completely split down the middle. Because the raptor has been completely reworked and is one of the most beautiful creatures on the friggin' planet. But its abilities make it one of the most useful and terrifying creatures on the planet. First off, look how beautiful it is. Now, I, we all saw Gaming Beaver's channel about, or video where he had real uh, paleontologists like basically give their opinion on gaming raptors and 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 arcs raptor got a good laughing that that's, that's but you know what nevertheless because it's still a very fun creature to play with the best around with and it looks freaking beautiful it's actually got those realistic little dinosaur ear holes that the t-rex now has its feathers are much more beautiful laid out as opposed to just like 10 fe feathers equally placed on both sides which was weird as hell um what um what the what the hell is this what the hell is this deer penis walking around? I, I, you know what? You know, we'll worry about that later. Well, deer penis comes next. All right, so it receives a model update, animation update, and texture update, and new abilities. Press C to pounce on target, pin small targets to the ground for a short period. I prefer my periods short. Those seven day bastards are no joke. Press C to attack repetitively. Pack buff increases damage resistance, increases movement speed, increases attack speed, lasts 45 seconds. That is bananas. Ah! No! He's mounted me! Oh, thank you, buddy. I'm still- I think it's- game still thinks I'm mounted. There we go, now I'm free. You can get straight up mounted right off your creature. That is vicious right there. Hang on. I'm gonna learn this. I love that pounce! I don't think I'm able to pounce on you. Is it like a age restriction thing? See, that's how they did it differently. In the other mods, you're able to pounce and latch onto the side of things, but in this, you pounce on smaller targets and hold them to the ground. You basically pounce on them in the ass in the way they pounce on uh, people in Primal Carnage, which is also pretty damn terrifying. I mean, raptors latching onto the side of you is annoying too, but raptors latching onto the top of you, that's just hopeless. That's how mountain lions attack. Oh my God, I've mounted him. Get mounted, son. What is up? Not even attacking him, I'm just staying mounted. That's how I roll. Come here! Oh, that is two poor Pegos. They're just getting all the crap in this. Nope, nope, nope. Come on! Remountify him! This is my first time mounting a creature as a raptor. I had to wait till I was like 15 to even mount a human, so it takes some practice. Come here! God damn it! Or you just eat him, you know? We already mounted him. Repetitive mounting is considered like... Yeah, yeah, then, you're, then you're just a rapist. Yeah. I wonder if it's like a one pounce per type thing going on. I think it is, because when you do it, I see it was like the, it was like a first time pounce right there. Oh god, I don't stand a chance. Brutality. Can I pounce on birds? Nope, but I pounced on this guy again. Yeah, I think it is just one pounce per, because it instantly pulls you on top of him the first time. And then after, you just kind of got to work for it. And there you have the Velociraptor, everybody. 
Just incredulous. Incredulous stuff all around. Here we have the Sarko. Just take that beauty in for a second. That is one gorgeous, horrifying looking face. Literally not changed from millions of years because the creature has reached perfection. To this day, they even still just about resemble the same shape, which is absolutely insane to me. So we received a model update, animation update, texture update. It's got the death roll. Grabs its targets and rolls dealing damage and disabling them. Lunge can lunge towards the target in front of it. 180 attack can spin in place to attack foes behind it. What? Walkable allows friendly humans to walk on and stand on its back. No flipping away. Are you, what the hell kind of weird addition is that? Could walk on its back that, what? Look at this DLC patch! Woo! All right, swimming dev maintains its current de current depth while swimming can lurk below the surface. Piranhas flee. Piranhas flee when they encounter a Sarko. Now, that is beautiful. You better flee, you bastards! Whoa! That was bananas. And how do you 180 attack? That doesn't seem to be a key. I wonder if it's a wild thing, like just something they happen to do. When you approach them from behind in the wild, I'm faking. Whoa! Wow, that's beautiful. Hey, I gotta check out this this beautiful submergings. Were we always this fast? I feel like they've gained a huge. It doesn't say movement speed, but I guess this just is just one fast ass Sarko. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous, right there. <laughs> that that is that is goddamn ridiculous, right there. But in the most amazing way. Wow, okay, so it's just when you get to the surface that you're much faster. Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. I think I'm just tripping out. We seem to just be getting a lot faster as we reach towards the surface, or do we get a lot faster as we go down here? Or it's just the general same speed either or, and it actually has no change whatsoever, and I'm just tripping. Uh, I'm leaning towards option C. Oh my god! I got these guys in here to see what it looked like, and they instantly pounced me off my raptor. And then that, that's just, it's just madness now. Everything grabs you off of everything now is what's happening. That's bananas. They were like the perfect little test monkey to get in all the things, but now you can't because they just pounce you off your creatures. Things are about to get a lot more terrifying. Wow, you just can't really move at all on land, can you, buddy? What's going on here? I guess that's legit, though. That's, that's what you want right there. And then once it hits the water, it becomes like a super speed creature. This is absolutely ridiculous, though, this little jump. I love it. The amount of... Come on! Oh, you really gotta attack stuff in the water these days. Oh lord! What the hell? I gotta be honest, the Sarko's pretty amazing. I love those updates. It definitely gives you a lot more control over the swamps and all that, which is generally one thing you really need if you're kind of Sarko swamp donkey kind of Shrek dude. But I gotta... I honestly don't know. The Raptor the raptor or the Argent. It's, it's, I'm, I'm split completely down the middle. Of course all those points are pretty much mute the second the Spino comes in. Look at this. Look at this right here. Holy crap apples. That is just the walking first off. Oh my god. Wow, they put so much work into the Spino. Look at it go. Look at it go. Holy crap. Model update, animation update, texture update, water buff. Given when in water, movement speed, turning radius, attack damage, and healing all bonus. Persist for a short period of time after leaving water. Added biped, quadruped, toggle with C. Stronger in attacks, can turn in place, quadruped. Right. So when it's bipedal, it's it's stronger attacks and can turn in place. Hey, hey, you bastard. And when it's quadruped, faster movement and prefers prime fish for taming. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Dude, my controls are so goofy right now. That's, it says toggle stand uh, t qu toggle between the two with a C, but for me C is the roar, and right clicks the toggle. Look at this guy! He stole something and he's gonna get away with it. That's hilarious, and that's terrifying. That that that, that sent shivers down me spine right there. Are you serious? That was look at that. Running on two feet while yelling is absolutely bananas. What the hell? That's what the what? You guys, what happened to my spino? What the what the what the what? <laughs> what, what, what the hell happened to my spino, guys? Has anyone seen? I mean, I don't even know how that. Please go, poor little gimpy arm here. Oh god, what have I done? I broke the spino. So it's faster on those. But it's just kind of just 
more I don't even know it's definitely scarier like this it definitely looks like it just stole some cookies from grandma's cookie jar and it's just trying to get out of there this is this is exactly what I look like when I shuffle back to my room after finding food that's it's 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 by far the most relatable stance I've ever seen that's for damn sure and that right there is just crazy oh my god I love all its enormous boost against once it hits water it's such a more terrifying creature once it hits water it's essentially a gremlin you just gotta keep it away from water once it touches water you're gardunzo beans I wonder if they're ever gonna implement something where when they roar it actually sounds like the audio is drowned out a little bit oh there you go I guess you just have to be underwater as well. I feel like I knew that. Why did I forget that? God, he's so incredibly fast now when he's on four feet. He's just like a scary ass lizard speed walking down the, the rat that was dropped into its small cage. That's the vibe I get. That's the vibe I feel like they want us to get. That's a scary creature right there. Last but not least, we have the trike, the Triceratops, which has also gotten a model update, animation update, texture update, all the others. It's got a RAM mode, charge it for a short period of time, the longer it's charged, the faster it goes. Obviously, as you saw in the initial commercial, it can ram through buildings and such, stuns targets when hits, knocks small dinos away while charging. And the rivalry buff, given buff when, when nearby large carnivores, increased damage output slightly, increased damage taken slightly. Decreased damage taken slightly, yeah, increase wouldn't make much sense, and increase health by 10%. That is bananas. Are we charging up that? Oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. What? What's he doing? This is like little kids on the playground when they think this actually makes them more scary. Oh, and there he goes. That is amazing, and this right here stuns your targets as well as knocks down buildings. That Look, look at him go, Jesus Christ. He's gonna charge for a while. Wow, having a bunch of trikes has never been more exciting. Imagine just lining up at your enemy, just 10 trikes wide. And they all have large creatures, but large carnivores, but the trike actually gets a buff now when it's around large carnivores. As well as the ability to stun said large carnivores. Look at that, look at that boost. He's getting angry. Oh no, the roar made me stop and poo. Charge! He's charging this way for some reason. He can't, yeah, I guess he cannot start the charge out right next to the creature. That wouldn't make much sense. And it just whirled. I feel like he just got stunned. Yeah, he got charged from far away. Initially, it's definitely better with going to attack. It's definitely messing him up, though. It's better to charge into a battle or to um, charge down their abilities for the most part. Just think, not long ago, the Rex got his own TLC patch. What a beauty. Alright guys, so make sure to cast your votes down below for your most favorite animal in the TLC for it shall be the first one I tame in a survival series and I shall see you beautiful people in the stream in an hour or so. Peace! It's time to get swifty and